Well, we are really excited today to have some people from Oxfam who have been working over the last year on what I consider to be an enormously important report. It's called Inequality Inc. Uh, let me start off by questioning you on your own report. All right, let's deal with it. All right, tell me what's been happening. We, we all yeah. went through this terrible COVID yeah. situation, and obviously the people on top, out of the goodness of their heart, understood the people down below were suffering and they cut prices and they cut their prices out. Is that what happened? If only, if only, Senator. We've seen this crisis for decades, but something has happened since 2020. Let me give you the numbers. Billionaire wealth, just two and a half thousand people. Their wealth has increased by over three trillion dollars. And that's two and a half thousand billionaires. But if we zoom in just to the top five of the world's richest billionaires, okay, their wealth, wait for it, has more than doubled since 2020. This is utterly extraordinary, even by the standards of recent decades. I gotta say something, audience. It's nice for me to hear this, because that's what I say all the time. <laughs> not enough people like to talk about inequality in the media. Not enough people like to deal with inequality in politics, despite it being, and let me say clearly, the fundamental issue that our world faces. Why is this issue of the incredible growth and in income and wealth and inequality and the incredible power that billionaires have. Why is you would think this is an issue that would be widely discussed, but it's not. Why do you think that's so? We have to be honest and frank about the sort of concentration of power at the top and then how that translates into a real push to maintain the status quo. And so a, a lot of what we did in this report is do a deep dive on uh, how companies um, are driving economic inequality and how they're using their power and influence to sustain the types of very worrying policies and very problematic policies that allowed them to do that. We probably have to have a frank conversation about politics. Why do so many political figures here in the US and around the world not like to talk about the concentration of wealth and income. Maybe I should ask you. <laughs> <laughs> You're the guest. Yeah. <laughs>